so um well um, i am an electrical engineer by degree uh, but i like to say that i am a waste warrior by profession um, well you know it's it's a really big terminology to to call myself a waste warrior because i know i have a very long way to go there is still a lot of lot of interesting work to do a lot of problems to solve in this entire uh, clean energy space waste management space but uh, you know i like to say that yes me and my company put together we are waste warriors and we are working towards a, a really big cause a very important cause not just for the country uh, or our cities or towns but um, the entire nation entire world as as such you know ahuja engineering services is actually a, a 35 year old company this was started by my father and uh, this company was founded by him uh, from again a very electrical engineering viewpoint uh, he is an electrical engineer from bitspilani himself and uh, he started this company for providing uh, turnkey electrical uh, solutions to industries so you know the company um, had a really uh, interesting 30 year old journey uh, working in hardcore electrical engineering uh, solutions um right from you know industrial electrification to um uh, setting up transformers to a lot many electrical solutions you know it's never too late i always feel that it's absolutely never too late to start uh, improving something or working on something whether it is uh, you know uh, of course here we are talking specifically about waste management but it's ne- absolutely never too late mm-hmm. uh, you know back in uh, 2010 when we actually started working on this concept uh, the whole uh, idea of waste disposal and scientific technologies and waste management was very very new in india so we were i think a little ahead of our times when we felt that you know we could bring in some innovation and engineering solutions to the to to play and actually um, you know uh, solve this uh, entire problem with a very scientific approach but um, you know today when we look at our cities and towns growing the population growing even if we just look at the indian scenario for instance uh, waste management is a huge issue you know we have uh, approximately 1 kilogram or to 2 kgs of waste being generated by every household and you know this includes not just the plastic wastes or uh, waste or even uh, the uh, single use plastic or uh, packaging waste but we generate a huge amount of organic waste and now you know organic waste is obviously something that degenerates naturally you know if if we leave this waste uh to rot uh, it is just automatically going to release a lot of methane and uh, various other uh, greenhouse gases so uh, individually of course uh, we are uh, generating huge amount of amounts of waste every uh, second of our day um but if even if we look at the industrial scenario or we look at a large scale um, you know entire lifestyle as such or running of cities and municipalities working each city is generating easily 5000 tons to 10000 tons of organic waste on a daily basis now the problem is that if we don't start dealing with this waste scientifically if we don't start disposing this waste scientifically eventually this entire waste is going to end up in landfills hmm. and you know we know that landfills are uh, encroaching our cities we already have less and lesser and lesser space we have more and more people um so if we uh, you know keep on creating landfill sites wherein we are dumping uh, our waste every day it's really not something that can take us too long you know it uh, it's 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 really you know a matter of time when even landfills are going to um you know stop giving us the you know solution to uh, waste disposal so with respect to organic waste we really feel that there are some beautiful technologies out there Uh, which can work on an individual level to a company level or to an industry level as well wherein we can at least deal with our own waste you know uh, so of course as the scale changes or as the amount of waste or the type of waste we are dealing with changes there are lots of technologies wherein these uh, uh, you know this organic waste can be treated immediately on a daily basis and it can be converted into into something useful so eventually what we are trying to do is that we are trying to reduce the load on municipalities we are trying to reduce the load on landfills so like i said it's never too late uh, and even if we begin today you know we can immediately start addressing at least 20 to 30% of these problems and of course moving forward uh, these technologies and a lot of mixture of technologies have to come in and we have to eventually at least reach 60 to 70% of organic waste uh, um uh, you know management and we have to uh, we we are going to be left with absolutely no choice but to uh, start reducing our carbon footprints 
एक चीज वापस बोलनी बोलना चाहती हूँ कि अगर हम लोग अपना इंडिविजुअल लेवल पर भी थोड़े और कॉन्शियस हो जाए जैसे इंडिया में बहुत बार बोला जाता है कि सेग्रीगेशन नहीं होता वेस्ट में यहाँ के माइंडसेट्स ठीक नहीं है यहाँ पे लोगों को आदत नहीं है मुझे लगता है ये बहुत गलत बात है इनफैक्ट आई फील दैट इंडियंस आर वेरी वेरी इजी टू टीच यू नो वेन वेन दे आर वेरी फ्लेक्सीबल पीपल तो मुझे लगता है कि अगर uh, एक राइट अमाउंट ऑफ अवेयरनेस आए हमारी सोसाइटी में uh, अच्छे मॉडल्स बने टेक्नोलॉजी के Uh, तो हम इंडिविजुअल लेवल पर भी बहुत काम कर सकते हैं यू नो कि आज इफ यू टॉक अबाउट मी इफ आई टॉक अबाउट माई सेल्फ आई सेग्रीगेट वेस्ट एट होम तो मैं अपना एटलीस्ट सोचती हूँ कि एटलीस्ट uh, uh, जो प्लास्टिक है और ऑर्गेनिक वेस्ट है उसको सेपरेट रखूँ एंड hmm. uh, अपने ऑर्गेनिक वेस्ट को एटलीस्ट एक कॉम्पोस्टर लगा दूँ विच इज विच कैन बी अ वेरी सिंपल एक्टिविटी एवरी डे एंड आई कैन डू दैट एट माई सिंगल लेवल एंड ऑब्वियसली वो बूंद ही होगा एक पूरे hmm. सागर में एंड इट्स गोइंग टू probably not make a huge difference but i'm sure it will make some difference but yeah. if we all start thinking like that we are eventually going to do a lot you know we can do a lot to uh, improve the scenario so uh, the pace setter fund uh, with the iusstf has been a very very important step in our professional lives um, you know it has been a turning point for our company as such um so i i i will uh, address that answer by giving a, a, again a very quick background of what we were doing previous to the pay setter fund project so you know uh, like i was just telling you in 2010 11 and uh, uh, hamara jo major kaam ho raha tha wo humne start kiya poultry uh, uh, sector mein because we have had identified a couple of uh, you know problems with the poultry sector wherein waste management was a huge issue it still is but uh, uh, we uh, and we also eventually successfully created a technology with the indian institute of chemical technology iict we did some research with them and we actually got a very uh, com- big commercial plant running uh, to de- demonstrate how this technology works on poultry waste uh, but you know because of some uh, commercial issues and uh, non availability of uh, financial viability we could not proceed further in that direction so uh, what we did is we made a slight pivot we started uh, you know uh, making some changes to the technology that we had built uh, back in 11 12 and we started running our uh, plant our actual um, you know demonstration plant on food waste and uh, vegetable market yard waste mandi waste jisko bolte hain and uh, we uh, did a lot of um, you know pitches there and we met a lot of people if you know potential people who wanted these uh, you know in house waste management technologies and uh, so in 2014 we got our first uh, breakthrough with the akshay patra foundation you know so mm-hmm. that was our first commercial breakthrough wherein they uh, understood they liked the work we did they understood our technology well and we started off the biomethylation process with the akshay patra foundation so with them we were working at a certain scale uh, we mm. were uh, working at a scale wherein we were uh, building technologies uh, right from 300 kg per day waste um, uh, handling capacity to about 1 ton per day waste handling capacity and uh, with akshay patra we got a couple more uh, you know breakthroughs with the um, universities and uh, with the uh, hotels wherein you know we gave them these tailor made solutions of biomethylation you know modern biogas technologies um so now coming to the pace setter fund you know we had this background of commercial work that was already put in um so we had already uh, demonstrated that our technology works at a particular scale uh with the pace setter fund we uh, wanted to now scale up this activity and take this entire technology to the next level so uh we we also had uh, you know this concept in mind that distributive waste management is the way to go which means that wherever waste is available we want to set up this technology there itself you know wherever there is waste generation so source of waste uh ki jagah par hi uh, plant lagna chahiye and whenever we treat that waste converted into biogas and then biogas gets utilized in a certain way because it has its own uh, energy value calorific value so we presented the same concept to the pace setter team um and i must say the the process was uh, very humbling it it was great it, it was the first time we actually participated in a uh, you know fund mission um so it was a it was a wonderful experience so what pace setter fund actually helped us do was that they gave us an opportunity to demonstrate the same technology at 5 tons per day so for us it was a it was a big leap 
and it was an opportunity to um, tell various other sectors that you know this technology can be scaled up it's modular and it can be um, made to work at five times per day and above as well so that was what we had achieved with uh, the pay setter fund so it was it was a great deal for us yes uh, moving forward uh, uh, we in fact uh, did move forward with the help of pay setter fund uh, we had a very very experienced panel uh, come to us uh, uh, you know to the uh, plan that we have set up under the fund they gave us some wonderful feedback and uh, with their help with their feedback and with the entire process of setting up this plant we actually approached uh, the department of biotechnology dbt um, so you know akshay patra led us to um, pace setter project and the, the success of the pace setter project actually led us to getting another fund uh with the department of biotechnology at 10 times per day so we have in fact already uh, gone a step further with the help of iusstf and um, uh, the department of biotechnology is now funding the one of our projects with iict which is our technology partner indian institute of chemical technology so uh, you know even moving forward uh, like this particular plant of 10 times per day is running inside the sabji mandi and we are again uh, proving the point that distributive waste management is the way to go at least to solve these organic waste uh, management problems to some extent you know we don't want waste to be you know taken from one place to another and then you know logistics come into play a lot of money is again spent on transporting waste spillages and finally it ends up nowhere so mm. with this 5 uh, tons and 10 tons project we have uh, really proven that um, uh, जहां पर वेस्ट है वहीं पर उसको ट्रीट uh, करना सबसे अच्छा सोल्यूशन है एंड मूविंग फॉरवर्ड वी वॉन्ट टू डू मोर प्रोजेक्ट इन दिस स्केल लाइक आई सेट देर आर ह्यूज नंबर ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज देर आर अलॉट ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज लाइक फूड प्रोसेसिंग इंडस्ट्रीज स्लॉटर हाउसेज वी हैव यू नो इंडस्ट्रीज लाइक यू नो कोक एंड Pepsi and you know a lot of other these these big MNCs and of mm. course a lot of government setups like our uh, vegetable market yards that are generating huge amounts of wastes every day in this range you know anywhere between five tons to fifteen tons per day. Mm. So moving forward, our idea is to multiply this technology, take it forward, and have it set up in a lot of locations, not just by us, but it could be many other companies who yeah. have come up. But the idea is to just increase that uh, pace of uh, setting up these projects and convert it into biogas which will again be uh, useful in either power generation or uh, replacing um, you know other renewable fuel uh, non renewable fuel sorry like lpg or png and um, ultimately make this whole concept of uh, waste management not just sustainable but also uh, business wise very very viable you know with with these concepts ultimately uh, give a very beautiful return on investment so you know we are looking at like like 4 to 5 years of return on investment so even governments are getting interested that yeah. you know let's invest uh, let's get our money back in 4 years and let's then start saving the energy that we are producing through uh, this uh, conversion of waste into biogas so moving forward hopefully yes we we want more um industries and uh, the government to become more conscious we want them to know that solutions are available we want them to know that they are bankable and uh, we really want them to increase their pace and uh, really you know make uh, bharat swachh not just swachh but also uh, replace uh, yeah. uh, you know um it's never easy to uh, you know work in a field that um, you know it doesn't give you too many laurels sometimes you know like mm-hmm. waste management and waste disposal was really something that was not talked about so at least now uh, a lot of us know what it is so i i would just like to uh, you know encourage uh, not just young minds but everybody to think of uh, their contribution to um, waste and and each one of us should be conscious uh, and we should try and do something in our own way you know we need not go out there and just set up plants and projects mm-hmm. even if we can do things at the, at an individual level uh, or spread awareness in our own communities uh, let's say um, you know segregation ka importance kya hai or uh, plastics 
इसको यू नो डिस्पोज ऑफ कैसे करना चाहिए एंड ऑर्गेनिक वेस्ट को कैसे डील करना चाहिए इवन इफ वी कैन स्प्रेड अवेयरनेस अमंगस्ट आवर ओन नेबर्स से और अमंगस्ट आवर ओन फैमिलीज एंड फ्रेंड्स एंड टू द यंगस्टर्स व्हो आर एक्चुअली वर्किंग इन दिस इंडस्ट्री आई वुड से दैट देयर इज ह्यूज अपॉर्चुनिटी यू नो वी डोंट जस्ट नीड 10 कंपनीज वी नीड एट लीस्ट अ 50 गुड कंपनीज विद 50 सॉल्यूशंस uh 50 different um, you know um you know ways of doing the same thing but and only then can we actually achieve a substantial uh goal of waste management so i would say that there's huge opportunity and uh, and and sustainability for a company if they are you know really interested in working in the sector so, so there's a lot of work out there <laughs> this biogas technology that we have uh, implemented through the pace setter program is uh, actually a patent of uh, the indian institute of chemical technology that is csir iict hyderabad has a, a scientific patent behind the anaerobic digester technology that we have implemented so uh, we uh, as a company have licensed this technology from iict and uh, we along with them in fact we have together scaled this technology up from lab scale to commercial scale um of course this is not the first time that we have used agr uh, uh, the anaerobic gas lift technology of iict uh, we have used agr technology before in our uh, smaller uh, scale projects with the akshay patra foundation and a few other uh, places but this was the first time that we actually used agr technology um at a 5 ton per day uh, level at a 5 ton per day scale um so there are a lot of advantages of the agr technology um the um, digester by itself the design of the digester by itself is very unique um there are a lot of advantages of this technology over the conventional uh, designs that have existed um in the past uh, or even the ones that still exist um but uh, the digester design and the process uh, makes uh, agr design and the entire biogas technology a little different from what we have seen before okay so uh, the uh, one of the biggest advantages of this uh, agr design and the entire biogas process is the fact that the uh, technology is high fast um with the with the conventional designs we have seen that uh, you know, anaerobic digesters work really well with only cow dung or a specific type of waste but uh, what we have done with agr design earlier and with uh, this particular project with the iusstf is that we have tried and tested a lot of different substa- uh, substrates um right from um, animal waste like um, poultry litter or uh, cow dung of course and even um, slaughterhouse waste uh, we have seen some really really encouraging results and uh, now with msw with this project municipal solid waste again has been highly encouraging we have seen uh, a biogas output of uh, as high as 60 to 70 cubic meter of biogas per ton of msw treated which is much higher than what we have experienced with with conventional digesters and conventional te- technologies which were not more than 25 to 30 cubic meter per ton of um, msw treated so i would say that the robustness of the technology has been very very promising and uh, we are now uh, looking forward to try some more newer substrates like agro waste um and like i said even slaughter waste slaughterhouse waste at a uh, commercial scale um the uh, other very important aspect of this technology has been that uh, in fact something that really sets it apart uh, from uh, what we have had in the market is the fact that the uh, operation of this project of uh, operation of uh, the uh, biogas technology is uh, rather easy uh, we do not need highly skilled people to run this plant uh, we can train unskilled to semi skilled people to run it and the maintenance uh, which is a very very big practical issue uh, of a lot of biogas plants that we have seen in india uh, the the maintenance becomes very very easy again you know you don't need big teams of uh, highly qualified people to maintain uh, this plant or this technology as such so when the plant is robust and uh, when the biogas output is high and you know these aspects clubbed with uh, low maintenance and easy operations you know everything put together makes the technology actually quite affordable 
Um, so the uh, economy of scale becomes more attractive. The uh, you know the investment versus the returns actually looks very very uh, uh, attractive. The ROI is smaller. So there are a lot of advantages that we have actually put together um, and proved, in fact, with this entire project of IUSSTF um, with five tons of MSW processing. And uh, I would also like to add that uh, uh, the uh, technology has also proved, we in fact have actually proved that we can scale this technology to any level. We've started with around 100 to 200 kgs per day at commercial scale itself with you know, small kitchens. And we have gone up to one ton per day and now five tons per day has been successful. And as we speak, we have already tested the AGR technology at 10 tons as well. So uh, we are now looking forward to doing um, uh, scales which are similar to five and 10 tons with different substrates as well as MSW or vegetable waste, as well as uh, scale it further if required. And if, if uh, the distributive waste management system you know, requires it, we can easily go beyond 10 tons, take it up to 15 tons per day, 20 tons per day, and so on. So the scalability of the technology is also something that has really set it apart from um, you know, various technologies that exist. Now, um, I would like to just come to the second part of the question, which is what aspect of this technology leads to higher rates? Uh, here, I you know, uh, can add a little bit of technical uh, jargon, if you allow me to, that, um, you know, the biogas technology depends on a lot of parameters. So with the AGR technology, we have um, minimized the HRT or the hydraulic retention time and the uh, SRT or the solid retention time has been maximized. So minimization of hydraulic retention time and maximization of solid retention time is something that ultimately gives us higher biogas output. Um, there is another very important parameter called as the organic loading rate. Uh, the organic loading rate is usually very low in conventional digesters, but with AGR, we have been able to improve the organic loading rates as well. Um, in addition to these parameters, we've had, um, uh, you know, we've added, um, an excellent mechanism for slurry mixing, gas purging. Um, you know, uh, these are just some parameters that have actually improved the biogas potential of MSW as such uh, with the, this technology um, when compared to uh, the older ones. And uh, um, uh, yeah, and I think one other very uh, positive uh, impact that we, have able, that we have been able to prove is that the methane content in biogas is also at an average of 60 to 62%. Um, whereas in conventional digesters, the methane content uh, used to be around 50 or 55% only. But this increase from 55 to 60 or 62 or even sometimes 65% increases the calorific value of uh, biogas. And that is a very important uh, technical as well as commercial uh, improvement. So I hope I've, I've done justice uh, to the question and I hope I've been able to answer it uh, well. So uh, with uh, this project, uh, the target um, has been reached as in our target was to generate about 300 cubic meter of biogas per day from uh, five tons of organic waste that we, that we treat on a daily basis. And uh, we have uh, in fact uh, uh, achieved this target of 300 cubic meters of biogas in a day. And this comes to approximately 60 cubic meter of biogas per ton of uh, MSW treated. And uh, ultimately the uh, idea was to convert biogas to power for an off-grid application. So 300 cubic meter of uh, gas um, here in this project has been converted into approximately 300 electrical units or 300 kWh. And uh, since this is an off-grid application, uh, the beneficiary of the project, uh, which is HIMSW, is directly utilizing these uh, 300 uh, electrical units back in into their facility um, because the, the beneficiary has a number of electrical um, uh, motors, uh, basically a lot of equipment that runs on electricity and uh, uh, they are directly replacing that um, EB power or that electricity board power with uh, this, uh, at least 300 units of uh, electricity is directly being benefited to them. 
and here we just have a uh, you know a generator a 100% biogas generator that does this conversion that is it takes raw biogas of approximately 60 to 65% methane content and it converts it into electrical uh, energy which is directly used by um, H just HIMSW but in even in terms of um, heat content uh, i can just say that uh, this 300 cubic meter of gas is in fact equivalent to almost um, 120 kgs of lpg just just to give a different perspective so in a month if let's say we are replacing lpg with this kind of biogas we would save uh, you know close to uh, 3600 kgs uh, of uh, lpg in a month and in terms of electrical units himsw is already replacing close to 9000 8000 to 9000 uh, units of electricity uh, per month so that uh, in terms of um, economy also it converts to approximately 90000 rupees a month uh, at the rate of 10 rupees a unit so 9000 units per month is equivalent to 90000 rupees of direct saving you know if we only consider municipal solid waste for instance i i personally feel from from my uh, you know commercial experience and all this experience and especially even with this project that we have impl implemented i feel that msw plants are uh, to be set up within our cities uh, or you know within our uh, uh, towns and municipalities where this waste is being generated it would not make sense to uh, transport this waste to villages um, so uh, msw projects will be successful where the waste is available and our urban local bodies and our cities especially the agrarian cities are the ones who are actually generating all this waste you know msw or the or home food waste or vegetable waste is very very little in villages it's less when compared to what we generate here in the cities so if we talk about msw yes it will be a great model especially distributive models will be they, they'll be very, very successful in uh, cities. And here, more than power or more than electricity or more than the energy content, I think waste management becomes a bigger uh, problem that we are solving. But um, from a village point of view, I would say that there are a, a lot of other substrates like poultry waste and uh, let's say even cow dung for that matter. Um, that's available and small pockets of even agro waste that's available can be uh, set up in villages to generate uh, energy and uh, this will obviously uh, mean that waste management is taking place but for villages energy becomes a bigger uh, you know a more attractive source to have um, from a power perspective i feel that solar is doing a great job um, and uh, you know main maintenance of uh, biogas generators etc could become a problem so i feel that for villager villages to be self sustained um, you know waste to biogas and biogas to be used as a thermal application to replace let's say something like uh, uh, wood or any other fuel that is being used for cooking or um, uh, you know just to uh, provide a substitute for lpg would make more sense so waste to uh, let's say a heat uh, kind of a cycle will make villages definitely more sustainable. Uh, but from a power perspective, I feel that maybe not. Uh, you know, waste to power is something that uh, will might might be a little difficult to maintain and uh, uh, you know make it more feasible in terms of uh, economies of scale in villages. And I also feel that projects can be scaled up to a large extent in cities with msw but smaller projects can do really well uh, in villages that is you know 200 kgs 500 kgs maybe even a ton scale can do really well because then it will be easier to operate easier to maintain and the energy can be used there itself for cooking or any other thermal application or something that that a farm might need so yes uh, so i feel that yes we need to have a very clear idea as to what a village is looking for and what waste is available and uh, again, from a city point of view, again, we need to be very sure about where the waste is available, how the plant is being set up, and what is the final use of gas. But ultimately, we really have to understand that waste management has to be the topmost priority, because that is something that's going to really ruin our cities and towns and even villages, maybe. So that has to be our priority. And the energy content that we're getting out of it 
of course, needs to be uh, something that can make our projects uh, financially viable. I, I, I really have to add, uh, maybe it's not directly answering the question, but I really have to add that uh, uh, IUSSTF has been a great platform for a company like ours uh, in terms of, um, you know, scaling up our technology and uh, proving that, um, you know, uh, robustness and scalability is something that is possible. And uh, we really needed a chance, we really needed a platform to um, explain that distributive waste management really is the way to go, at least to solve the waste management issues by, let's say, 20% or 30%. Um, so yes, I, I have to um, really thank IUSSTF uh, that they've given, up, given us this technology uh, proving platform. And uh, using IUSSTF's uh, opportunity, we have already scaled up to 10 tons per day with the Department of Biotechnology as well. And that project's also taken off really well. So, uh, so thanks to the entire team, uh, they were really, really uh, patient with us. Uh, they helped us through a lot of uh, issues that we've had, practical issues. Um, and uh, at the end of the day, we've have, we have, uh, also received some excellent feedback from the team. They did come and um, attend to us. They, they came and visited our plant. So the entire feedback and everything put together, I think has made a lot of sense. <laughs> so looking back, I would say that I think uh, I, I feel fortunate that uh, I could um, lead the project and um, make this happen. And of course, uh, I, IICT's um, inputs, technical inputs and pace setters feedback, pace setters fund has really um, you know, worked for us. So I have to uh, thank them there.